Girl, girl, don't eat in my Tesla. I watch a bitch freak on the Tesla. Fucking shit up. Boy, 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 don't eat in my Tesla. I watch a man freak on the Tesla. A Tesla. When I fuck it up, I'm putting on the pressure. Make the party real loud, no compressor. Unconventional, hard to digest, yeah. Even at my worst, I'm still shitting on your best, yeah. Alright, listen up, I'm your professor. You a quiz and I am the test. Y'all are old news, I'm the success. Speakers bumping loud, yeah, I'm killing like Dexter. When I fuck that shit up, then I fuck that shit up. No, I don't give a fuck, no, I don't give a. When I fuck that shit up, yeah, I fuck that shit up. No, I don't give a fuck, no, I don't give a fuck. The quiz in I am the test, yeah. The quiz in I am the test, yeah. <laughs>
I go by Tree God. I'm a local New Mexico producer and DJ. Been doing it for like five years on DJing and three on production. I have another group called God Tonic. It's a house duo. It's pretty fun. By myself, I do bass music, and that's the mix that you guys are gonna hear. And yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Quarantine, I've only been working on production, so I've gotten a lot better. You kind of want to play your music, you know. And if you just do production and you never do DJing, then you, uh, yeah, you won't really have a way of playing your music out, especially when you get booked for shows. You gotta be ready for that. Yeah. I did start DJing first, so, so DJing has always been a lot easier than music production. So what's difficult about difficult about it is just the DAW itself. There's just like able I use Ableton and there's so much uh, going on like I I didn't really comprehend all that when I first started. And now I'm like spending a lot of time learning how to like mix and master my own tracks and it's just it's a journey. It's a journey learning every little thing that you have to do. So I found like my passion during quarantine, that is music production. So it is really cool to like just tap into that. I got to learn a lot from Nick of God Tonic because he plays guitar. He would play guitar during our sets and like he was able to incorporate uh, live music into our sets which is really like awesome and kind of eye-opening and how cool it can be. Nick showed me like house music production got me into that. Gary Otterspace showed me a lot about bass music production kind of got me started on that. So those two dudes are the two people who got me started into music production. And like since then I've gotten to produce with, you know, a bunch of local people who I really looked up to, like Joe Wax and Manabot. So made some tracks with them and it's really fun. They've taught me a lot. We make a drum beat uh, together and then we kind of just start making, like we open up our different scents and start making basses and like weird noises and kind of like then like for me and Joe Wax, like I'll make a bass and he's like, he has all these dope ass ideas about like chopping it up and like doing, like putting all these post, post uh, production kind of stuff on it. It just makes it sound crazy. So really collabing on a track, it, it just, it just depends, you know, so I've collabed with people on the internet and I make the intro first drop and then I send it to them and then they make the breakdown and, and outro and then breakdown and second drop, drop and outro. And that's cool because, you know, you don't have to, it, it's like, doesn't take that long. You know, when you're sitting down in a room with someone for, you know, I think me and Manabot worked on our track that we made for like 36 hours, like in total. Sometimes a collab will be really easy. Sometimes it'll just take forever, especially when someone, yeah, it's like a perfectionist, which is good to be, but it takes forever, so. But it's been cool getting on some different labels and stuff. I got a big tune dropping uh, February 16th with this label I've always, really looked up to call this fire higher. They just have like all the like, some of my favorite artists, like, yeah, like Smoke Land, what jersey I'm wearing right now, and then uh, G Space, and all these like, you know, bass artists who, who have kind of like made it, you know, are on, um, who have, have put out tracks. So I'm just like, dang, this is, this is probably the biggest tune I've put out. So I'm pretty, pretty excited. It's a collab too. So with bass music, it's like, on the other end of house because I love house music a lot too but it's just like a lot more variation in bass music with uh, I don't know like the sounds and stuff like people complain that house is, is too repetitive which it can be to an extent but bass music has more of like uh, kind of like a randomness to it and like you know a lot of cha changing up the vibe and it's not super repetitive even though you know when you break it down a lot of music is plus my favorite shows have always been to go to bass shows you know like meow wolf shout out miss them and uh yeah just getting little glimpses like i played a show with of the trees and dmbu where i was just played in the house and i played house house music that show i got to like hang out with them and they were just like the coolest dudes and like just the music and the energy that they brought i was like this is inspiring and i want to make this kind of music so i just try to like I don't know, provide some variation between like different sections of my drop kind of thing. And kind of just, I've been experimenting a lot with new sounds and bass and like using all these like, I kind of got plug-in crazy, which are like, you know, things that you, tools to, you know, to use when you're producing. So I've just been using a lot of like post-production and just doing like a lot of automation and just like, I don't know, experimentation is basically, that's kind of the genre I'm in is like experimental bass music, so. It's been cool. It's cool trying all this different stuff. It's really fun. So it's been it's been great to have something 
that I'm passionate about to do over quarantine. Because I know a lot of people just feel like, you know, sad and stuff. But I've had like this outlet where I can like, you know, if I do feel like that, I can like translate it into music. Ha, huh, I kind of wish I would have gotten into it sooner, honestly, and just like, you know, like I just was kind of sleeping on like the mixing side of things, which is like, you know, EQ, like saturation, like basically making everything like fit together really. And so that jumping into music production, like looking at that was so, so like daunting. After doing like, you know, like, you know, YouTube research and like, you know, just kind of like learning, learning from homies and stuff, I've gotten a lot better at that. There's always room to go in mixing though. But that was like, that's something I wish I could go back on and kind of just like, I don't know, just kind of get myself a little bit better prepared. Do a little bit more, maybe read a book, you know, on it because that would have helped a lot. Just to understand what these things do. Because before I didn't even know what, you know, people would say it and I'd be like, okay, word, word, compressor, yeah, yeah. Now I actually know what that does, but before I was just like, getting into it, you gotta dedicate a lot of time to it. Like, it has, like, you know, and there's not gonna be, like, a lot of rewards, like, a lot of art. I feel like that's kind of, like, a common thing, and, you know, like, if you're patient, like, there will be re rewards, but, like, especially starting out, when you're just starting, like, just feel it out and just go, go, go with it. If you, if you're passionate about it, just keep going, you know, and, like, try to do something every day. When you're starting a track, like, don't necessarily just focus on that track, like do days where you're just practicing stuff. Open up like a brand new project you're not working on and try to synthesize some sounds. Try to make some of your own sounds and just like spend like an hour doing that and then go back to your track. It'll help you a lot, so. Yeah, like I get writer's block for sure and like there's times, but man, I've been snowboarding all season. So if I start feeling like any sort of writer's block, just go hit the mountain. And that has been like the best release because I haven't been like that physically active during quarantine like so I I've been going snowboarding a lot which is fucking awesome I am currently putting out solo EP because I've been releasing all this stuff on little labels and stuff and I think it's finally time for me to have my own stuff where you can find on Spotify Amazon all that uh, so that'll be released sometime next month or or in March so we'll see when I finally get it all perfect and uh, other than that, I want to, I have some like labels in mind that I really want to like th get some tracks on. And uh, hopefully by the end of this year, like uh, I have a manager now, so hopefully she can get me booked for some shows. Shout out Carly. And uh, yeah, just kind of just, just keep making music pretty much and see, see where it takes me. So I think it's, uh, it's been going good so far. And if I keep it up, I think that I can definitely go places with it. Those are the goals, baby.
like my the lie. I move crowds from side to side. They ask me how I do it, and simply I reply.
top in the foreign don't when I get home I need the top Louis Vuitton when I leave the house She got an ass and I grease her mouth She wanna twerk when I leave the house Gucci the belt and I'll leave it out Yeah, I got standards Diamond nail flanders Ooh, ooh, Kool-Aid jammer Cookie pack on camera Yeah, yeah I got standards Diamond nail flanders Ooh, yeah Kool-Aid jammer Cookie pack on camera Yeah, yeah She wanna twerk on my chain Get in that brain Swerving your lane Oh, I fuck a knock off a bonnet I had to get it I want it honest Yeah, Oh, private jet, Nike tag, she up next Check, right. When you a boss, don't take a loss, count up a check Soul plate, never late, go on dates When you get up, they hate, uh, diamonds they drip like a lake uh, Ollie a 10, can't flip an 8, nigga I skate uh, Nigga, I got standards, uh, diamond nail flanders, oh yeah Kool-Aid jammer, uh, cookie pack on camera, yeah, yeah I got standards, uh, diamond nail flanders, oh yeah Kool-Aid jammer, uh, cookie pack I got standards, uh, diamond nail flander, ooh, yeah I got standards, suck on my nuts like planners, ooh, yeah My bitch a dancer, hop on the dick like a presser, ooh Polluted Fanta, flick with a Polaroid camera, ooh yeah. You talk outlandish, put him in a holy field like a vandal, ooh Got a new mansion, new Ralph Lauren, got two ranches Diamonds is dancing, ice so cold, gotta walk with a panda Yo, bitch so stainless, give me that top with no hand it I got standards, I get the drop, I'm more jealous I got standards, take your bitch in the rinse, got no standard Blow outlandish, when Virgo on the track, all you rappers are banish My bitch just landed, not a leg of English, she speaks Spanish Got a new mansion, no rock on it, got two branches I got standards, diamond nail flanders, ooh, ooh, Kool-Aid jammer, cookie pack on camera, yeah, yeah. I got standards, diamond nail flanders, ooh, yeah, Kool-Aid jammer, cookie pack on camera, yeah, yeah. I got standards, diamond nail flanders, ooh, ooh, Kool-Aid jammer, cookie pack on camera, yeah, yeah. I got standards, diamond nail flanders, ooh, yeah, Kool-Aid jammer, cookie pack on camera, yeah, yeah. I got standards, diamond nail flanders. Ooh, ooh, Kool-Aid jammer, uh, cookie pack on camera, yeah, yeah I got standards, uh, diamond nail flanders, ooh, yeah Kool-Aid jammer, uh, cookie pack on camera, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Oh.
Yo, shout out you guys for tuning in. Uh, I'm Tree God and that was a lot of fun. Uh, I want to just give a quick uh, shout out to Couch Lock Collective because they have been, uh, yeah, they're uh, every step of the way and they are such a cool group of music producers that have really come together and uh, I've had a lot of fun like talking to everyone and connecting with them. Shout out Make Waves, new label that, I'm, that I've been on and uh, they're based out of Denver as well. Uh, ben Kaji is the guy who uh, runs it and I just put a track with my boy Dukes. So you can find that on SoundCloud. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to do more of these and uh, that's it. We'll see you next time.